This is the fourth video for the games for the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I said I was going to do some Fantastic Four games. This right here, you'll see what it is. But I want to give a little history here. Sorry about that last one. I was a little angry. I hate that game. That game is garbage. That's all I'm going to say about that. And if you don't like it, then I don't know what you can do with it. But here we go. This game right here, I don't even know how to classify it. Really, I don't. I had a bunch of ideas about this game, but I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. So I just said, okay, how about I just do it right off the top? No script, no nothing. We're just going to take this, give a brief kind of summary of what's about to happen. I'm going to show you the game. And because of the technology that I don't have right now, kind of working on video editing, I'm going to show the game, show me playing the game. This game is definitely something if you are a comic fan, if you are a fan of the Fantastic Four, it's just something nice to have. This is something that's very special. But let's cut to the piece right now. I bought this used. And so the box is not in the greatest condition, but here we go. This is it. Look at that kid, man. It is a plug and play game. Look at that, look at that fat bottom TV right there. This is amazing. Five exciting missions versus, yes, you are fighting Marvel villains. And guess what? This is actually the Fantastic Four game. It's, it's not Fantastic Four or anybody else. It's a plug and play. Okay, look at this kid's face. You see that kid's face? He is so happy. Let's see if this game is really that exciting. I'm gonna go over the box a little bit. The Fantastic Car, it's got tilt sensor controls. You're, you are, are the Fantastic Four defending the Earth in the Fantastic Car. Five exciting missions versus Annihilus, Super Scroll, Moment, and Doctor Doom. Now there's five exciting missions. I don't know why they only say four, but whatever. Challenge your friends to beat your high score all in one. No console required. Plug in, play now. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna set the camera up so you can see the TV and me playing it. Let's get to action. That's right. Oh yeah. Who should I be? Well since... Me, you, me, Torch since... Oh, yeah, let's do it. Which one you guys want to see? You sit, I see you got Silver Surfer, Mole Man, Annihilus, Doom. Silver Surfer, definitely. Now this would have been so much cooler with the controller. I don't even know what these things do. I don't know why you look so sad. I don't even know what I'm fighting. What, what, what am I fighting? I, I think I ran out of ammo. Mission. Who? I'm not dead. Mission failed. All right. So what did I think about this game? First off, listen to that soundtrack. That is amazing. Whatever. This is actually a classic piece. I really enjoyed playing this game. I don't know why. There's some glitches about it. I don't understand why you're in the Fantastic Car. It looks like a, I don't know what it is. The funny thing is about the whole game is that it never says this is not for water use. So technically you could be by the pool and have it hooked up to a TV and floating there like, 
That would be cool. I really doubt it's going to work though, but if it does work, that'd be cool. I'm going to try something out. Do not try this at home. All right, I'm, I have professional lifeguards stand by, just in case something goes wrong, but I'm going to put this in my pool here, and I'm going to see if, if it'll hold me up, all right? So this is proof that it can be used or not as used.